Hey guys, this is yours truly, Maximus of the Brothers of Steel, and today we'll be looking at the phenomenon that is Player Unknown Battlegrounds. We'll be looking at its origins, what it is, and what we can expect from a game that will probably be the most original and hype game for 2017. So unless you were under a rock for the past 6 months, the game that is Player Unknown Battlegrounds has sold over 10 million copies. Yeah, and that number is sure to go up as the Steam Early Access is going to make its way to the Xbox One later this year. And in addition to all that niceness, according to the Steam stat page as of this month, September 2017. Player Unknown Battlegrounds has amassed a whopping 1,349,584 concurrent players, surpassing the record previously held by Dota. This is just phenomenal. What is this game? Where did it come from? So let's get it down. Player Unknown Battlegrounds is a multiplayer online battle royale video game developed by Bluehook. And it was developed by this guy, Brendan Green. So basically, he created a mod for Arma 2 called Days, which was a sort of new genre of gaming called Battle Royale. And that whole Battle Royale concept came from a Japanese 2000 film that was obviously named Battle Royale. This film basically set all the fundamental principles that were needed to create this survival genre of gaming. So with all that said, Green used a simple formula be inspired by Japanese schoolgirls with machine guns and make it into days and add the realistic simulation of armor tree, then add the arcade like action focus and player accessibility of H1Z1, and you get what is considered the defining game of the genre Player Unknown Battlegrounds. With the basics out of the way, let's talk about what makes this game great. Just on previously mentioned sales and player base on Steam, this is certainly a game that is in contention for one of the best games of 2017. 
there are two things that struck me really when I played this game. First of all is the type of game, the survival game. Not every game will be the same. So the elimination of a leveling system means you're not going to be pawned by an uber guy who's like has super gear and is like level 550 with you and your stupid little slingshot of level 3. That's not going to happen. The only difference is they're just going to look cooler. Because at the completion of each round, players gain in-game currency based on how long they have survived, how many of the players they have killed, and how much damage they have dealt to other players. The currency is then used to purchase crates which contain cosmetic items. So that in itself sets this game apart. The second thing is that constant uneasiness of fear that you have when you're playing this game. Once you get into that final table of the top 10 or the top 9 at the end, you got a serious adrenaline pumping feeling you get. Because the map is different every single time you play it and the ending position is different every single time. That in itself gives you a rush. And in essence, we can only expect great things from this game because remember, this is still the beta, almost beta playable version of it. So in time, we have been promised new maps, new content, and of course, it will have some obviously improved graphics. So this is the way it's going to be. I hope that you have learned something, even if you are part of that 10 million people who are playing this game right now maybe you have learned something about the origins and if you have never heard about player unknown battlegrounds well i hope you learned something this is yours truly maximus of the brothers of steel we've been checking out player unknown battlegrounds don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel check us out on facebook give us a like and share up the love until next time 